hey guys good evening and uh, welcome to the session so let's just quickly check if i am audible to all of you am i all right thank you so how was your day it's monday how was your day yeah it was good wonderful <laughs> monday is always hectic yeah i know yes i can understand that uh, but yes it was good as usual yes that's the spirit yeah that's the spirit great okay so uh, before we continue with the uh, today's agenda uh, do you have any queries i'll take the queries first and then, then i'll continue do you have any queries okay all right so help me remind help me recall uh, did we talk about this uh, uh, model comparison tool in the last session help me recall this please we talked about attribution modeling in the last class yes we all remember this we talked about attribution modeling in which we talked about the last click model the last non direct click model google ads model google ads click model first click model and all those yes but did i show you this model comparison tool no okay but we talked about the comparison tool uh, but we talked about different uh, kinds of uh, attribution modeling right okay and we talked about that uh, attribution is a lot like scoring in a basketball game or in a football game where uh, a channel plays the role of an assist sometimes and sometimes it scores yeah i hope you remember that yeah okay all right then since we talked about uh, all these things uh, theoretically uh, we have this model comparison tool in google analytics if you have set up uh, e-commerce tracking or you have uh, defined goals you can find this option in compa uh, conversions attribution and model comparison tool and you can see this uh, you need to choose uh, uh, what is uh, what goal all the goals or a select goals or e-commerce tracking what is that you want to uh, understand the attribution for since this is the demo account of google merchandise store right this is shop.googlemerchandisestore.com uh, so uh, this is an e-commerce site right so we would like to focus on e-commerce part that's the ultimate objective of this website uh, getting orders so i am removing goals from here okay we only want to focus only we only want to focus on e-commerce say apply and then i am selecting a period and let's select a period let's say january yeah january 2018 and here in january 2018 uh, we are saying see this is called the loop back uh, window let me zoom in so that you can read properly and we are saying that we are not only interested in google ads we are interested in all kinds okay so it says you can set up this look back window uh, to any day between 0 to 90 okay default is 30 days so for my example i'll stick to 30 days now what is this look back uh, uh, window it will consider that uh, it will consider the 30 days before the conversion took place on the website okay so we all remember the example where a user landed on the site through google organic then came back through uh, facebook remarketing then uh, uh, 
uh, revisited the website through Google Display Network and then uh, through email and then uh, came directly and converted. We all remember that example. Do I need to explain that once again? So a user visited a website several times. Yes. And then converted. And I think we had taken this uh, for six, seven days starting from 1st November to 7th or 9th November. Uh, so that's what we uh, that's what we we discussed. Okay, so that will take. Uh, okay, let me explain you this quickly. You want me to explain? Sure. So I said uh, on November one, uh, user uh, uh, landed on your website, uh, uh, and after searching on Google Organic, and then did nothing, just viewed uh, a few pages. But what happened since you have enabled remarketing, uh, Google Ads and uh, Facebook both, so this user was added to the audience list. Remarketing list, FB and Google Ads both. Okay. And then uh, user saw the ad on uh, the newsfeed on Facebook let's say on November 3 okay why because this user is now part of uh, your uh, remarketing right so a uh, uh, part of your remarketing uh, audience list so Facebook uh, newsfeed and this user sees the ad clicks that lands on the website and again viewed a few pages uh, but this time user subscribed to the newsletter okay and then that's it and on November 5 user saw a user saw an ad on Google's display network what is Google's display network it is any website that has provision to display Google ads we all understand that okay so saw the ad clicked on that and landed on the website okay so through Google display network uh, let me write remarketing remarketing and over here i should write remarketing and then user uh, did nothing viewed a few the landing page and exited okay but this time user created a bookmark Okay, created a bookmark. We all understand what is a bookmark? Bookmark the website, the page. And then on November uh, 7, uh, user received an email because user subscribed to the newsletter on November 3. Email and viewed the landing page that's it and on november 9 this user came directly visited the website directly how directly the user clicked the bookmark we all understand clicking a bookmark is direct traffic and this time viewed the landing page and confirmed the order now we all remember this example everybody do we all do we all remember this example tell me yeah and then i had asked and then i had asked which channel you would like to attribute this uh, conversion which channel should be credited this conversion so considering the first uh, uh, click model it is the Google organic considering the last click model it is the direct channel the direct visit on the website considering the last non direct visit this attribution will be to email okay and this is uh, what google analytics follows 
and then as per the uh, Google Ads model this will be awarded to the Google uh, Ads we all remember that okay now let me explain you this practically okay you can compare this over here how it is happening so this is the default channel grouping uh, or the multi channel funnel uh, grouping whatever you want okay well, you can check this source medium wise also but we will check that a little later otherwise it will be a little confusing right now we want to check it uh, as a default channel grouping because we know the channels are like direct traffic referral uh, organic uh, uh, search paid search social display affiliates etc email is missing over here because there is no email traffic on this website in the selected period of time and uh, conversion through it so what is the traffic channel it is the source of your traffic okay that we all understand by default it is showing us the last interaction okay and as per the last interaction model see this is very interesting please pay attention very very interesting uh, you will be amazed to see the kind of uh, you know comparison and the first of all the data google maintains uh, absolutely free of cost for you um, and you enjoy that uh, and we don't even appreciate that sometimes and then uh, how beautifully it shows you as per the selected model it says in the month of january 2018 31 days you had 1253 direct conversions and 741 referral conversions what does that mean 1253 conversions happened took place when user visited your website directly as the last interaction point to the website is that clear as the last interaction point to the website 1253 conversions were recorded through the direct channel 741 recorded through some other websites which is called a referral you really want to see what what are those websites so go to source medium instead of checking default channel grouping just check source medium and then paid search we all understand what is a paid search when you use utm parameters and the utm medium is cpc that's paid search okay it's not only limited to the uh, paid traffic from uh, a search engine although the this channel grouping is uh, that is what it implies but it's not limited to that okay and then social is from social networks display is when you have used a medium in your utm parameters as cpm when your bidding method is uh, uh, bidding method is impression based okay it's not again limited to the display network of google and then affiliate now i'll add another model which google follows google analytics follows which is last non direct click model okay and uh, you are seeing this instead of showing you 1253 direct conversions it is now showing you 529 so let's check this example again so direct model is saying the conversion happened because users last interaction point or the last interaction uh, was through the direct visit to the website but last non direct model says i do not consider this okay i will give this credit to the email okay is this clear so this is the difference this is the difference but if you notice where those conversions are gone then 1253 minus 520 nine where are those conversions they have been adjusted to the different channels because this is how it happened it was only 529 times okay and not 1253 times that user came to the website directly okay directly means maybe one time or maybe several times okay n is uh, for nth value which can be any visit any number of visits 10 visits 20 visits 2 visits 3 visits but every time user came directly and then converted so this is this number so the direct conversions were 529 not 1253 times because in the in this difference in this difference user had visited the website before conversion happened or took place uh, 
through some other channel like email, referral. In this case, you can see some of them were on the website through referral because you can see the difference over here in the values. And then some of them through the organic search and some of them through the paid search. You can see even difference in the social. Uh, over here in last interaction model, it is giving only four attribution conversion, four conversions attribution to social. But over here, it is giving it nine. It means it is saying five times the user was on the website when converted directly. But before that, uh, user had visited through a social channel. That's the difference. In this case, there is no difference. Are we clear with this model comparison? Are we clear with these values, everybody? Did you attend the last class, uh, Nitesh? Did you attend the last class? No, then I can't explain it because it will take time. Yeah. You need to watch the recording. I have a lot of content that I need to finish on time. It would be difficult for me. Yep, okay. It's not a regular class. The only constraint over here is that we don't have time to explain it again because we don't have any other session. This is the last session. If I keep explaining previous things of last class, then we'll end up with very less content that we have to cover today. All right, so uh, just to give you in one line, last interaction model says all the attribution or the, all the credit of a conversion goes to the last interaction uh, point, okay? Last interaction point. It could be anything, direct. What was the, uh, what was the channel user interacted with the website uh, last time, okay? And the conversion happened. So that's how it is. And in lost non-direct, it will be uh, just before this if there is any non-direct channel. So now you can compare all the models that we discussed in the last class. You, you can see that list over here. Okay, you can see that list over here. And uh, that's it. Okay, any question? Can we compare now? Can we compare all the models? Can we compare all the models now? You can compare three models at a time. Yes, any question? So Nitesh, you can please watch the recording and connect with me through the Q&A, okay? It's not that I don't want to explain this, okay? I would love to explain it over here, but I hope you understand. I have a long list of topics that I need to cover, okay? You, you can see this list over here, week five, uh, session two. Yeah, okay. So if time permits, I'll do that at the end, okay? If time allows, I'll explain that. I'll explain that. Uh, okay, and I and I I have already shared these slides. I have shared these slides, so there you can check all kinds of different uh, models. Now uh, there are uh, uh, other interesting reports in the conversions. Uh, they are called multi-channel funnel reports. Let me show you a couple of. Uh, is it in this? Okay, I think we could not complete in the last class. So it is in the previous previous presentation. One second, I am just fetching that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this we have already done. Okay, understanding attribution using Google Analytics. Okay, and uh, all right. So when you talk about assisted uh, uh, or last click or direct conversions, and first or last click or direct conversions, so these uh, ratios summarize a channel's overall role. I told you that a channel can play the role of an assist or it can play the role of uh, the player who scored it. So when you are in the assisted, uh, 
okay sorry my bad i forgot to share the screen with you sorry okay okay you will get it not a problem you will get it i'll write it over here i'll write it over here i'll request geetika to share it with you i'll write her an email okay after this session so uh, i was talking about this uh, report called assisted convergence so you remember our discussion a channel uh, can play the role of uh, an uh, assist or uh, a or or somebody that scored directly so i have again taken the 30 days uh, period 31 days period which is january 2018 and we are only uh, considering e-commerce uh, uh, conversions and we are considering 30 days uh, prior to the conversion and this is uh, your uh, uh, you, you can use a primary dimension like multi-channel funnel grouping or default channel grouping or you can even use a source medium so whatever uh, way you want to analyze this so first i'll show you default channel grouping and then i'll show you source and medium now it says uh, see this is again another very interesting part of it okay direct channel okay the direct channel played the role of an assist okay, 906 times it means the direct channel assisted in conversions 906 times if you are talking about the conversions that happened in the month of january uh, 2018 considering the 30 days look back window uh, before the conversions conversion was recorded and then it says direct 1253 times it played the role of direct conversion okay so total conversions are 1253 and 906 okay so in 906 conversions it is uh, it has played the role of an assist okay remember the uh, player who's passing the ball to the uh, forwarder who's uh, scoring the goal and then 1253 times this scored the goal okay this uh, put the bo ball in the uh, goal post and uh, how do you know whether it has played the role of an assist more or uh, the one who's responsible for uh, the conversion or it has play it has played a balanced role so you can check this over here uh, by uh, reading this tool tip it says a value close to zero you know th th there is a value over here okay you can see this values over here in this column now what these values are a value close to zero indicates that this channel functioned primary as the final conversion interaction okay so close to zero means if it is less than one it is close to zero okay uh, and uh, uh, if it is uh, okay i'll give you the example so if it is less than one it is close to zero and uh, it has functioned primarily as the final conversion interaction a value uh, close to one indicates that this channel functioned equally in an assist role and as the final conversion interaction okay so it has a balanced role okay sometimes uh, it assisted and as uh, sometimes it uh, scored directly and it's it's kind of a, you know equal uh, role and then the more this value exceeds one the more this channel functioned in an assist role let's see that direct channel has played the role of an assist 906 times but it has played the role of a channel which uh, scored directly okay converted directly 1253 times that's the reason you are seeing 0.72 look at this one the organic search okay organic search played the role of assist 168 times played the role of uh, the uh, channel that scored Okay, or converted 
through which you got this conversion 163 times so there is hardly any difference and you can see this value is close to 1 1.03 percent are you seeing the balance so organic search for you is a channel which is playing the important role of direct conversions but it is also helping other channels uh, in conversions and uh, over here when you talk about social row number five four times uh, it converted okay uh, uh, directly but 14 times it helped so it has played the role of an assist more than direct conversions that's the reason this value is higher than one and over here this difference is not this high four uh, versus 14 16 versus 27 is not that high so this is 1.69 are we clear with this value uh, first of all tell me do we all understand that a channel plays the role of an assist in a conversion and sometimes it is the channel that has converted that has scored a goal or it, it has scored a conversion directly so th those are the values over here in these two columns respectively do we understand these two columns first of all this column and this column everybody do we understand quickly confirm uh you were there in the last class sandeepan you were there in the last class do you remember this slide do you remember this slide didn't i explain you that sometimes a channel plays the role of an assist okay it's like a game of basketball where it is not scoring directly but it is passing okay the ball to the forwarder who is scoring right and uh, that is called an assist if it is the channel that is scored directly it is the player that put the ball in the goal post then it is the direct converter right you remember this okay so that is what it is telling you that's what this report is telling you that this played a role 906 times uh, of an assist and 1253 times it is scored directly yeah so you can think of this conversion as a goal so this scored 1253 goals directly but 906 times it passed the ball to the forwarder other forwarders who scored the goals are you getting it are you clear with this so that's we are talking about the direct channel clear are we clear with these two channels are we clear with the assisted conversion of the last click what is last click it's a goal got it now sandeepan tell me are you clear with the two columns everybody are we clear with the two columns you have to make sure see if you don't understand these two columns then you won't this report makes no sense to you <coughs> what is your question you tell me the calculation is too simplistic really you understand the algorithm how it is calculating it what is your question you tell me sandeepan what is your question So this part is clear. So this part is clear. You tell me. Are you clear with the two columns? Then I'll tell you the third column, which is the value. <coughs>
that doesn't matter model in this case is not important over here because it is telling you if it is code directly there is no model over here you need to understand what role it has played model is something separate it is something different so this column tells you that these many times the specific channel scored directly these many times this channel help other channels scoring a goal or a conversion and then if uh, the value in this column you see to understand what role a channel has played then you you see this value okay this you see this value if this is one or close to one it means it has played a balanced role over here we can see for organic organic search that 168 assisted conversions and 163 last click where it scored directly that's the reason it is close to one 1.03 <clears throat> if if it is 168 okay if this is also 168 last click then this value will be exactly one and it is exceeding one in this case 1.69 this one because there is a difference in the assisted conversion and the last click last click is less than assisted conversion or other way around assisted conversions are more than last click so this is the value higher than one and in this case this uh, difference is too high so this value is uh, even bigger much higher than one and in this case the direct conversions are more than uh, assisted conversions this value is less than one closer to zero are we clear now so this column is simply telling you by looking at these value you can figure out that what role this channel has played it has played a role where it is scored more or it has uh, assisted more or where it has played a balanced role are we clear are we clear now are we clear now and now if you look at this source and medium report if you look at the source and medium channel uh, primary dimension now now check this so user came directly uh, to the website okay and then converted okay so this happened 1253 times user came directly 906 times uh, on the website but after that it came uh, came back to the uh, website through some other channel okay so that is how it is telling you 906 times so you can check all those channels over here through the source and medium Okay, now we have uh, uh, this uh, uh, report called top conversion paths. This shows all of the unique conversion paths. Okay, and what is a path? It is a sequence of channel interactions that led to the conversions as well as the number of conversions from each path and the value of those uh, conversions this allows you to see uh, how channels interact along with your conversion Okay, so no, uh, Chandramohan, it doesn't include, it doesn't include 906 in 1253. It doesn't include that. No, it doesn't include. Okay, coming back to the top conversion path. So 
report this report shows all the unique conversion paths that led to conversion as well as the number of conversions from each path and the value of those conversions this allows you to see how channels interact along your conversion path this is uh, going to help you understand the last report also okay uh, assisted conversion report and as you look through the list of paths you may find repeated patterns that give you insight into how to most effectively market across channels okay and the channels in this path are labeled according to the multi channel funnel grouping by default but you can change the label by selecting a different primary dimension about the paths table okay and for information uh, on how channels are labeled in this report you can read about channels but you you don't need to read about channels you know the default channel grouping you know what is a social channel grouping you know what is email you know what is organic what is paid all that you know you have done all this in uh, your web analytics now let me show you this top conversion path report so a user landed on your website two times first through some referral referral is what some other web some website and then came directly and converted so 234 convert 224 conversions were after two visits and these two visits were through the some website and then a direct visit and then 141 conversions in the selected period of time which is january 2018 141 conversions were recorded after two visits two direct visits on the website is it getting clearer sandeepan now referral so if you ask me how do i uh, how do i give this uh, 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 referral thing over here so this time everybody this is also helping you understand that assisted thing in this case referral is playing the role of assist everybody is that clear and over here the referral is playing the role of the channel which has scored directly in this case it is again playing the role of an assist are you seeing this is this clear now is this clear now got it now so this makes it absolutely simple to understand now that what is happening over here so your users uh visited the website through some other website which is called referral then came directly and converted visited a website two times directly and converted through some website then visited website directly two times visited website directly uh, 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 visited website two times through the referral sources now if you are interested in knowing what are those sources and all that over here also you can see organic search and direct you want to see more rows you will have to see all those rows over here okay and then you will be getting a complete picture okay sometimes you will see organic at the last where organic is the channel that uh, uh, played the role of uh, the player that scored directly so this is 245 value i'll take 250 from here so that you can see the entire report see you all have access you all have access to this uh, demo account so you can do whatever i'm doing over here you can see organic search referral and then direct direct and then organic search are you seeing this time this time organic has played the role of the channel which is scored directly over here it has played the role of an assist directly so anyway so coming back to this so this report is helping you understand that what are the paths what are the channels users are taking uh, before they are converting and you can identify the sequence of those channels through which you are getting the maximum conversions and you can work on a strategy so that you always target user in that in that sequence so if you are seeing that users uh, come through the paid advertising google ads first on your website that's how you introduced you introduce your uh, users to your website okay and then they come back through the facebook okay and then uh, sometimes they convert or sometimes they come back to the website directly 
or maybe through email so you have to ensure that you are acquiring always new users through google ads okay and then you are adding them on facebook remarketing okay uh, list uh, facebook audience list and then you target them then so that they can be uh, brought back to the website for uh, so that they buy more so you need to identify those channels uh, where you are seeing uh, the maximum convergence okay it may be uh, it may be a combination of that so you really need to identify this this is this report is not simple to understand uh, in terms of identifying the best uh, conversion paths so you need to work on it okay uh, before you conclude anything so but this uh, helps you understand your top conversion paths that we have already seen then there is a time lag now you tell me if you have to buy uh, a uh, if you buy if you have to buy a cushion cover and you are searching online will you take a lot of time in deciding will you take a lot of time to decide if you have to buy a cushion cover do you have to uh, think a lot before you want to buy a mobile cover for your mobile do you have to think a lot if you want to buy a, a tempered glass or a screen guard for your mobile okay will you think uh, a lot of time if you want to buy a pen drive do you want to do you think you spend a lot of time before you buy a pen drive no okay but if you have to buy if you have to buy or sell real estate some property do you take time or even if you have to take it on rent do you take time if you have to buy a car do you take time if you are planning vacations do you take time okay when you are planning the vacations will you go to any website like makemytrip.com or yatra.com or wire.com and book your itinerary and then book your reservations or you will take a lot of time sometimes you take a week or 10 days or maybe more maybe more yeah is that correct okay so depending upon what business niche you are in okay because you are analyzing your account or your clients account so you need to consider the business niche you are in and then you see that what is the time people take before they convert on your website so in this report this is the e-commerce website which doesn't have the very high value product okay so if uh, these are the uh, average ticket size is nothing it's a few dollars uh, maybe 10 15 dollars it's nothing actually okay 1000 1500 rupees uh, if you talk about in in inr indian rupees so it's not expensive so you don't uh, you don't take too much time if you have to buy you'll buy you don't have to buy you don't buy okay you don't actually think too much so that's the reason you are seeing most conversions are happening on the same day are you seeing that but if you see on your website if you are a real estate agent and you see that lot of transaction lot of leads that you get you are getting on let's say ninth day okay or maybe you are getting in this period of 12 to 30 days okay so let's say this is not 553 this is 5530 leads that you get in this period okay so what information so what the how this information is helping you this is telling you that for uh, okay have you have you ever done this uh, that you research a, a product but you didn't buy so let's say you were uh, looking for a good pair of uh, earplugs or headphones okay not the ones like uh, under 1000 rupees you're looking for something with the uh, if you if you are an android user aptx and if you are on iphone you're looking for double ac and uh, that, that those are the codecs actually okay so those are for the best headphones you may have so uh, so you're looking for it and then you see that uh, any head earplug or uh, headphone with double ac codec okay for i i iphone is not costing you less than uh, 7000 rupees or 8000 rupees so uh, you didn't buy actually okay you researched a lot but you didn't buy you researched it and then you check the price on amazon you check the price on 
uh, some other marketplaces and then you completely forgot about it because you thought it's a hundred dollar plus product so i think uh, i'll buy it later or i have uh, other uh, uh, pair of headphone which is decent enough okay so i don't know if i want to buy this or not but what happens your friend buys a new headphone and it reminds you that you should also buy the one that you had researched but you don't remember that where did you check it last time so you go to your trusted site all you remember is that's the model you have finalized so you go to your trusted website let's say you go to amazon and you buy it from them have you ever experienced it yourself that you researched about a product but you didn't buy but after some time it occurred to you that you have to buy this and then you visited a trusted or a favorite site of yours and you bought it from there or somehow you saw a deal somewhere and you bought it from there have you done this you wanted to buy you wanted to buy a, a second led you wanted to buy a, a screen another screen okay let's say for your gaming console okay you have connected your gaming console to your living room uh, tv but you thought it's not a good idea okay so i'll connect my gaming console to a different screen and i'll install it my in my room okay so you researched a lot and then you finally thought that uh, i am going with sony bravia this 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 model okay but you didn't buy because you you saw that this is costing you for 45000 rupees but what happened after some and then you finalized this on flipkart uh, where you were getting the fantastic deal okay uh, you were getting discount you were getting zero cost emi and all that but uh, you didn't buy but after some time you saw sale on amazon okay a uh, great indian sale and you saw this is av now available for 39000 rupees without thinking twice you placed the order on amazon okay so you did all the research on flipkart and other website but they lost this deal when the time of conversion approached isn't it when the time of conversion approached they lost the deal somebody else got the benefit yes so this is what you this is what you can see that how many times how many days a user is taking before submitting the lead on your website or buying from you if this user is taking more time what action can you take what action can you take can you add this user to the remarketing list number 1 so that this user has the recall value have you experienced this that you add a product to cart product to the cart on amazon or flipkart and you don't buy so that product chases you all over the internet you added an itinerary on make my trip you didn't complete it okay but then make my trip ad chases you all over the internet yeah so that's remarketing we all know that now can you offer email also can you offer email subscription also you can say that uh, 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 we can help you uh, get the best deal on the product you have shown your interest okay for that you can uh, subscribe to our product notification email can you do that yes okay can you also offer uh, a push notification browser push notification i'm sure many of you know about what is a browser push notification yeah so you can say that don't miss a deal ever subscribe to our push notification isn't it so this is what you need to do for the recall value if people are taking more time before they convert on your website it is always a good idea to create multiple touch points okay so you don't lose those uh, uh, potential uh, conversions you don't lose that are we clear with the importance of this report are we clear so as you can see on my screen the time lag reports counts the number of days from the first user interaction to conversion okay how many days uh, it takes before user converts on your website and this is how you can uh, take the corrective actions all right the time lag report uh, shows uh, 
how many conversions resulted from conversion path okay i think this is wrong uh, this is not time lag actually this is conversion path length okay uh, that was zero so this i need to correct this is conversion path length uh, report shows how many conversions resulted from conversion path that were 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on this can give you the insight into the length of your online sales cycle okay the path length report shows how many conversions resulted from conversion path that contained this much this so let me show you how many interaction a user required that is what the path so time lag is how many days so there you need to be present always in the mind of your uh, potential uh, customer okay uh, i have explained a couple of methods how can you do that and then you have this path length a user came to your website once then came again then came again and then came again and then come in and then converted yeah so if you are seeing that most users are coming to your website uh, several times before they convert what does that imply the path length can you see this path length in interaction they are coming to your website several times before they are converting so 13 conversions took place after the nine visits on the website are you seeing this 13 conversions happened after the nine visits on the website so users are taking time before they are converting and it's not a, a number of days okay it's the number of interactions number of times they are coming to your website so again you have to make sure that you are always present in the mind of your users the methods are remarketing list the methods are email subscriptions the methods are push notifications and and many other things okay you you know that you have done a lot of things in inbound marketing and all other modules so this section is very very important okay and uh, and you can use this knowledge to better understand your customer's journey and allocate your online market marketing budgets accordingly now if someone says that facebook is not converting okay you are not seeing a lot of conversions from facebook so i want to stop my facebook campaigns will you do that will you do that will you do that no what will you do before you decide it what will you do before you decide it which report will you check before deciding this which report will you check before you decide this you conclude this this is a useless channel you will go to assisted conversions you will go to source and medium and there you will see what role facebook has played for you okay so let's say somebody is saying google ads not working for you so google cpc okay you can see let's uh, just for the example okay so you can see this is uh, this is a very big number this is not two this is not 27 this is 200 and, uh, uh, 270 or maybe 2700 so this is a big number will you will you now uh, think twice before removing cpc because it has played the role of an assist if you remove an assist okay the channel which is playing the role of an assist okay you your chances of losing final conversions are very very high okay this is in this case it is not google organic alone okay that introduced the site user to the site all this is started from here definitely okay but who brought back the user to the website facebook okay then again who brought the user back to this this so all the channels are playing good role of an assist okay so you really need to check in this report if this is playing the role of an assist you don't want to certainly okay 
remove this uh, from your uh, marketing uh, campaigns. Yes, Ruchita. So you need to check that uh, uh, assisted conversion report also before you decide that it's time to stop working on this channel. Okay. Since you joined a little late, okay, uh, there may be a little disconnect, but that's okay. So you can uh, watch the recording and uh, connect with me later, right? And connect with me later. If you have any queries, you can connect with me through the QA. I have already uh, noted this, okay? You will get all these slides, don't worry. You, I have already noted this. I'll, I'll write to uh, Geetika, my, my, my coordinator, okay? And, uh, and, and you will receive this, you will receive this, okay? All right, so uh, there are a lot of, you know, interesting features uh, in Google Analytics, within Google Analytics reporting interface. One such is a sharing report uh, with others. So without you know spending time over here uh, in uh, this slide, I can take you to any report. For example, you want to share this uh, e-commerce uh, overview report with uh, a colleague of yours, okay, who's also working on it, or any other report uh, for that matter. So there is this option called share. Okay, so you just write email. Okay, let me know uh, somebody. Give me your email ID. Give me your email ID. Anybody, anybody who has a Gmail ID. I need just one ID to show you because this person who will be sharing can confirm that you received the email from me. Yeah, all right. I'll do this. So this one is enough. This one is enough. So I am sharing this with you. Okay, this report and how do I want to share with you? I will share with you as a, a PDF file or I can share it as an Excel file or a CSV file. So PDF is fine. Okay. And then frequency is do I want to share it with you only once just this time? Sorry, my bad. I have paused the screen. Sorry. Let me show you this once again. Okay. I had paused the screen. So I am here in e commerce overview report and I want to share it with uh, a colleague of mine. So I'll scroll up, I'll click on share, and then over here I can enter the email ID of the person I want to share this report with. And what's the format PDF, Excel, or CSV? And uh, this report e commerce overview. And do I want to share it only once or I want you to receive this report through the email every day, just once a week, once a month or quarterly. So let's say I want you to receive this email every day. Okay. And then uh, uh, frequency is I want you to receive this email every day for six months or I can limit this to one month. Okay. So these are the options. Since I don't want you to receive this email every day. So what I'm doing just once okay and i'm saying hey check this and you need to prove that you are not a bot if you are logged into a google product it uh, doesn't bother you much and it says send now you check it uh it's still loading Now check your email and uh, tell me if you have received it.
Okay, so in the meantime, what I'll do, I'll uh, go to the audience report and then I'll go to geolocation report and you got it? Okay, all right, you got it, fine. Okay, great. So this is how it works. So, and then I changed my, now you see, when I reach the geolocation report, the primary dimension is country. I am selecting city. And let's say somebody, let's say Nitin. Nitin is working on a campaign, okay? And uh, campaign is uh, acquiring more users uh, for higher conversions, uh, use, uh, uh, acquiring more users for higher conversions from the cities. Mountain View, New York, San Francisco, and Sunnyvale, these four cities. So for that, uh, uh, you have to check the performance. Uh, uh, so what you are doing, you go to the advanced filter, and then you say include city matching regular expression, and then you enter the matching regular expression. You say Mountain View, or the pipe sign is the OR operator. We all know that. Mountain View or New York or Sunnyvale or what was other one San Francisco and then I say apply if there is no spelling mistake it should work fine so I can see traffic from only from Mountain View New York San Francisco Sunnyvale but I am seeing from uh, South San Francisco and West New York also okay so we are not targeting these two cities. So what I'll do, I will exclude these two, okay? Or I, I, I let it be there, whatever the requirement is, okay? At least I'm seeing these four cities. And I only want to focus on this. So to understand the uh, behavior and the conversion patterns in a better way, I also added a secondary dimension, gender. I want to see how, the, uh, how our male and female visitors are converting and behaving on this website, okay? So this is where you can see, yeah, all this, all this you can see over here. Now, <clears throat> you have to do this uh, periodically, okay, because Nathan has to do it periodically because Nathan is working on these four cities, okay, uh, targeting users through uh, Google Ads or, and through the Facebook. The problem is the moment you leave this report, you will lose all these settings. You will lose uh, the advanced filter. You will lose this secondary dimension. And uh, yeah, so this is all we have done, okay? So whatever settings you have applied, you will lose. So every time you come to this report, you add the secondary dimension, you filter it. This is unnecessary uh, taking time and it irritates you, okay? So what you can do to save this, you go to this option called save. This is creating a shortcut. Let me call it this location, GIQ, uh, November 2018. That's what I'm calling this uh, report uh, shortcut name and I say, okay. So with all your settings, right? Please bear in mind, with all your settings, this report has been saved. Now you go to anywhere in Google Analytics, you even log out, you come back and then uh, you go to customization and then you go to saved reports and you need to select the report that you had saved with all your settings with this report we called giq november 2018 and this is where you will see this with all the report all these settings yeah first of all it is already switched to the secondary dimension city and then it has added the secondary uh, sorry the primary dimension to city the secondary dimension gender is automatically added and your filter is intact it is in place are we clear with the shortcut option everybody are we clear with the shortcut option got it very useful feature simple it appears simple but this is very very useful okay and another thing uh, sharing we have done already uh, say we have done export you can always export this report the only limitation uh, to the export option is that it exports whatever is visible on the screen. So if you are seeing only 10 records on the screen, only 10 records will be uh, exported. 
if you have taken a big number from this those many records will be exported okay so if you are expecting that you will get the entire accounts data when you choose the export option it doesn't work that way okay you can export only the report that you are viewing first of all not entire google analytics view and second it exports only the data which is visible on the google analytics uh, sorry which is visible on the screen uh, another thing uh, if you want access to this uh, data entire data you have to use a method called uh, core reporting api okay that's uh, application programming interface but uh, you need to write code for that so if you have a development team or you yourself come from a development background you can have a look at the documentation of core google analytics core reporting api that's called application programming interface okay and why do you need it because you are working on an app it may be a desktop app or a web app or a mobile app and you need this data over here how many of you have used uh, that wordpress plugin uh, monster insight for google analytics have you used a plugin called monster insight for google analytics yes have you seen uh, where it shows you the reports directly from google analytics if you authenticate it if you give the permission to uh, monster insight it can fetch data from uh, google analytics and it shows you the page views your top pages and all that have you seen that okay if you haven't seen it you just try uh, this uh, monster insight authenticate give your google analytics account uh, uh, rights to it okay and don't worry it is safe uh, later you can revoke okay so that's an example that is that's an example where you use core reporting api to get the access to your own data clear okay and then we have a uh, 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 another requirement okay so uh, i i go back to this uh, uh, report uh, of audience and geolocation this is where uh, i want to select city and i want to focus only on four cities for whatever reason and then uh, okay so let's set it up containing matching regular expression mountain mountain view pipe sign let's say new york only two cities okay uh, let's keep it simple so you want to focus only on two cities uh, west new york is also appearing that's okay and then i add secondary dimension gender now nitin has to analyze this data not just by the uh, gender okay uh, the requirement is to analyze this data gender wise <coughs> age group wise and then device category wise <coughs> you want to understand that uh, what are the devices that the most users use in a specific age group gender wise i'm repeating you want to know what is the specific device the most used device uh, in a specific age group in a specific gender is this a fair requirement so that you can target accordingly you want to know your male visitors in the age group of 22 25 to 34 so there are six age groups when you talk about google analytics they are 18 to 24 25 to 34 35 to 44 45 to 54 55 to 64 and 65 plus okay so those are the six age groups and you want to know that what are the what what kind of devices they use okay in a specific age group and uh, in, in in that even in that age group the gender wise okay is this a fair requirement for your data analysis you're working on some strategy okay and you need this data you really need this data okay and it's not just limited to the device category you actually want to see what is the specific mobile device they use you know there is a report in google analytics how many of you know that there is a specific uh, report in google analytics for that 
device device info you know that okay so uh, let me complete this and i'll show you this so this is where you are stuck you cannot have more than two dimensions in google analytics standard reports so you have a primary dimension and you have a secondary dimension so you cannot have more than two dimensions so what do you do now okay you can have up to five dimensions in custom reports so you'll have to create a custom report so there are two ways to create a custom report either you can add it the report you are viewing okay by clicking this uh, added button over here this is one way and then i name this report as uh, a location for four dimensions and i call it nitin okay because nitin is working on this campaign and then you have the options like it's it's a report type explorer uh, where you can drill down you can have a value for a dimensions like country and then you start drilling down you click on country you see the list of regions you click on a region for example you click on uh, 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 punjab and then you uh, when you click on punjab it will show you the list of cities under punjab so that's the explorer mode where it is uh, working uh, in a drill down kind of a system we will have a look at it quickly and then you have a map overlay which is only for geolocation reports and there you see this heat map and then you have something called flat table okay uh, then you have something called flat table in flat table mode you can uh, have up to five dimensions okay so you, over here you can see this dimension so i'm adding dimension city okay that's user city and i want to see this as a user gender next to this so that i can analyze this data better and then under gender so within a gender for example male i want to see the specific age groups so i write age over here which is user age this is you find under the users and then over here you want to see the device category okay or you can have a specific device for example uh, mobile uh, uh, device info that's what it is mobile device info okay so you will see is it apple iphone is it apple ipad or is it uh, samsung uh, galaxy s9 or this is uh, some other is it one plus six okay so all that information you will be seeing and you can apply a filter over here okay if you want you can apply a filter directly over here so nitin is working on what on two cities new york and mountain view so i say city user city uh, not exact matching it is regular expression and then new york and pipe sign mountain view so all that we have set up in the custom report itself and then i am adding this to a view and i am adding it to the master view because currently i am in the master view okay you want to link it to some other view you can do that and then click on save because it doesn't have enough data it is showing you very very limited records over here so what i'll do i'll change it to a very long period okay uh, i can say yeah, starting from here i'll take it till date this should improve much better now can we see this is it a useful information now for you is it a useful information can you see this in new york okay your users from new york your male users from new york in the age group of 25 to 34 uh, use apple iphone and how many 155 okay your female visitors from new york in the age group of 25 to 34 89 users used apple iphone to visit the website in the selected period of time now why are you seeing very less data over here first of all because we have uh, taken uh, the demographics uh, uh, into our uh, reporting so the moment you add demographics okay, like gender and uh, uh, age group etc google analytics cannot collect this information for all the users hitting your website for simple reasons like if this user is incognito okay except chrome okay 
a user is incognito, this, this information cannot be recorded. If the user has uh, made changes to the privacy setting and logged on to a Google account, this information cannot be captured. If user is behind a VPN, virtual private network, this information cannot be captured. So there are several reasons for all the users, this information cannot be captured. So you, the moment you add a secondary dimension, age or gender, your users will reduce to half in most cases. That is what I have experienced. Okay, so that's what you need to see. And you are further saying that show me the kind of devices they are using. Okay, so it is again not collecting information uh, of all the kind of devices they are using. So depending upon your requirement, you can create a report or you can add it this. So if I added this report and if I simply remove this specific mobile information, you will see a better data over here. Okay, you will see a better data. Better data means uh, the 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 more more users. Are you seeing this now in the uh, age group 25 to 34 male visitors? You can see 3,581. Uh, earlier those were uh, I think it was 100 plus. Okay, so it was because the device information could not be collected. This this is the the number was appearing very very less. So anyways, so my point to explain this part is. It, this is how you create custom reports. So one of the ways of doing it, which is the simplest way, that you go to any report, click on add it, and uh, define it as per your requirement. If you want to create a report from scratch, you can do this by going to custom reports and clicking new custom report. The drill down thing I was telling you, uh, you go to audience, for example, and because we are considering this report, and then you go to location. So when you are in the explorer mode, okay. So this is your explorer mode. The time graph, where you see the time graph, okay? Map overlays when you see the map. So what happens if you click on uh, United States, okay? Uh, it will drill down at the region label. What is the region? It's a, it's, it's a state, it's a province, it's a county, or it's a union territory, okay? So the, those all are called region Google Analytics. And now you are here in, uh, in the list of regions uh, of United States uh, and uh, this is California, New York, and blah, 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 Texas. And if I click on California, then you will see the list of cities you had traffic from the state of uh, California. So you are seeing San Francisco, you are seeing Sunnyvale, you are seeing San Jose, you are seeing Mountain View and all that, yeah? So this is how this drill down thing is, uh, drill down thing works, okay? Flat, we have seen where there's no, uh, where there's no drill down, uh, but in flat, you have the provision to add up to five dimensions okay so primary secondary uh, ternary and so on and uh, uh, the map overlay is nothing it just includes the map overlay so that's how it is are we clear with the custom reports can you create powerful custom reports can you create powerful custom reports and you want to know how to avoid reinventing the wheel do you want to know how to avoid reinventing the wheel? What does that mean? If somebody has already created the report you are looking for, why don't we import its template and see our data into it? Yes? Makes sense? Is it is it important? <clears throat> if somebody else has already created that report, then why you are spending your time? Okay. And another thing is, if there is some kind of repository where you can see these templates, so why not get ideas from there, right? So there is something called solutions gallery. And when you go to the custom reports, you see this over here, import from gallery. You go over here. I told you about Avinash Kaushik. Okay, he's a well-renowned uh, digital uh, analytics uh, uh, marketer. Or you, you can think of a, a, not just a digital marketer, is his kind of authority okay so in the domain of uh, digital marketing if you simply google about avinash kaushik you will see uh, his uh, blog is uh, on the top page top uh, positions and uh, books written by avinash and you will see his uh, interviews here and there with google and all that so anyway so this why i'm telling you this because this one on top you see from avinash okay and uh, this one is from the Google Analytics team itself. So you just check 
what kind of report you are looking for okay you just check that you can filter over here sometimes if you are typing some uh, you're typing some uh, keyword okay uh, depending upon your requirement so you may see the report filtering accordingly and you can choose that otherwise you just go through it it's a, it's a good idea to have a look at it okay and you can categorize this filter by category so you are looking for a report for branding purposes, for conversion purposes, or for engagement purposes. So all that you can include from here. So this is how you use the, uh, you just add any report, import, and then it will say, uh, it will give you the next screen. Let it load, I'll show you. Now it is asking, it is asking you, what is that you want to add? and then uh, to which view okay so depending upon which view you want to add this i suggest that you do it in the test view okay uh, for your testing purposes and don't include everything if you don't need all these things you just uncheck and include the reports uh, the ones you really want okay and then check uh, you can add it those reports actually okay uh, in the customization section and you understand how those reports are created okay how, how this person has created this report So I didn't uh, import that and I simply canceled it. So that's all about the custom report. Now another very interesting feature called dashboards okay, under the customization. You can create uh, dashboards and uh, I'll go to the demo one. okay so i am into the dashboard section i created a, a few dashboard for only for of course for uh, demonstration purposes all that you can see over here and uh, this one uh, i'll create a new dashboard for you from scratch so i click on create and then i give it the name giq november 2018 batch and you, you have the option to choose from blank canvas or a starter dashboard i suggest that you start from gallery okay you import a, a dashboard which is readily available in the solution gallery to understand what kind of options are already there and you'll find fantastic ideas over there but just to show you how you can also create a dashboard let's call it GAIQ. November 2018 blank canvas create dashboard okay when you talk about dashboards uh, the widgets are the reports okay or uh, you call your reports a widget so there are two kinds of widgets there are standard widgets and the real time widgets as you can uh, assume uh, real time is uh, whatever is happening in real time so that's a kind of a, a widget and standard is for your historic data so i am creating a visit and i call it uh, when i select counter okay you need to select what is that you want to show on that visit so i want to show the active user and all active users let me call it all active users okay and uh, i say save So it is showing me on the dashboard all active users right now. Then I add another widget and I say real time active users and we call it Nathan's targeting. Hmm. And what is Nitin's targeting? Four cities. 
filter this data add a dimension what dimension is city and city regular expression So it will show you some data only if there is any traffic from one of those cities, okay. Uh, so four users from the cities. Now you can add it to your dashboard layout. But right now I'll put it over here. You can drag it, customize this. These are the layouts you can choose for your dashboard. And then uh, you want to see only the organic users okay the users currently active through google organic or just organic organic so you can apply a filter over here add a filter what's it it's medium organic we all understand the filters so feel free to use it Twenty users from the uh, organic uh, medium, okay. And then uh, you want to add a a widget which is based on standard reports. So again, we click on new widget, and we call it uh, a metric. And what is this? We want to see. We want to see the revenue and <clears throat> revenue in the selected period of time on the dashboard itself revenue and this. so whatever you want to want to put on it so i'm just choosing revenue over here and uh, you want to group it so you can group it or you want to apply a filter let's call it revenue yeah total revenue let's call it total revenue because this is not based on any filter what happened shots Okay, I think I clicked on back by mistake. So need to click once again, add wizard, uh, matrix. Revenue, and that's it and say save. Now we have selected some period okay uh, i think starting from january this year till date okay 26th uh, november so we have uh, selected all that or maybe whatever the period is i think it is last seven days that's why it is showing us so less so i will go to some report audience maybe overview and i'll choose a period it must be seven days last seven days that's why it is too low yeah, it is last seven days. Let me choose it uh, last month, uh, which is October 2018. And I'll go back to the dashboard because we have selected this period. Our dashboard uh, revenue metric will be appearing over here. That's the dashboard we created, GIQ November 2018. And you see the revenue in the selected period of time was, uh, is it? Uh, 150,000 dollars okay so that's how you you created are we clear with the process of adding visits to the uh, dashboard everybody are we clear are we clear you can also export it you can email it you can share it you can share it you can share the template link with uh, a friend of yours okay or you can share this in the solutions gallery okay like you can import a a dashboard or a custom report or uh, uh, anything uh, from the solutions gallery a segment you can import from uh, the solutions gallery uh, 
Likewise, you can add it to the solutions gallery so that others can take benefit of what you have done. Okay, now if you think that you have created a fantastic custom report or a dashboard, uh, feel free to share it with others. Okay, and uh, I suggest that you create a dashboard using the solution gallery first so that you get an idea how uh they have created it and what kind of dashboards are already available so you don't have to reinvent the wheel if we are clear we can move forward any query now now tell me any query okay so let's understand uh something called custom dimensions okay so we have done this saving reports custom reports okay custom dimension so uh, if you have a blog website okay you or your client or your company you have a blog website would you like and a lot of authors are sharing okay a lot of authors are sharing uh, uh, content okay so would you like to see the name of the authors uh, who are most popular on this blog website let me show you an example here okay my Alexa responded. <laughs> I didn't even say Alexa. I said example and somehow it took it as Alexa. Uh, where is that? <laughs> so th there is a funny thing actually what happened and uh, Amazon had to fix that problem. Uh, somebody uh, uh, called his boss and then said that you switch off the uh, echo okay the amazon echo device you are using okay because i have just received an sms I, uh, some masses not sms you can google about it and you will you will know more so what had happened uh, in in some tv ad okay and this was uh, the uh, and it said alexa okay like I just said that it turned blue and green and it is waiting for the response so uh, from my side so it uh, it started uh, accepting and then I don't know uh, that is what written on that article that what it interpreted okay and then it texted it uh, to the employee okay of this person okay that's how you got it so they fixed this problem that uh, that uh, it won't recognize uh, the uh, sound Alexa uh, if it is on a certain frequency or a decibel so that that's how they fix this problem that that's a very interesting it's a very very interesting thing you just check that so it, it, it's not that uh, you know that if you are using a, a virtual assistants like assistants like Google home okay uh, on Google home it runs uh, it runs that Google assistant uh, and uh, it, this is uh, Alexa on Amazon eco devices and on HomePod, uh, on HomePod, uh, the Apple HomePod, this is Siri. Okay, so you you have to use those devices carefully. All right. Just looking for. Uh, I think we can check it on uh, search engine watch or we can check it on lunar metrics so i am on search engine watch let me see if the author's name is appearing over here because it will be easier for you to connect what I'm saying if I show you an example. Uh, not showing the name over here. Yeah. Uh, yes, they are not showing. 
It's right on Luna Matrix. I think they have uh, changed it to uh, bounteous. Okay, uh, Luna Matrix is I redirecting to bounteous. I noticed it uh, a few days back. You can see this article, Understanding Scope in Google Analytics Reporting. I will be sharing this link with you guys. <coughs> I'll also explain this uh, scope thing. This article was posted by uh, Emily Roche yeah? on 30th November 2016. Uh, if uh, you check on this website, uh, uh, there are so many articles. You will see the name of their uh, authors. Okay. Now you tell me, would you like to see? If you have a blog like this where different authors are contributing, would you like to see the name of the authors who are popular? Is this a requirement? Is this a requirement? Yeah? Okay. Okay. If you are a company which is uh, uh, providing services into select regions in India, let's say, and uh, you say you have defined your own regions, you call uh, them uh, Delhi NCR. Is there anything called Delhi NCR on map? Is there anything called Delhi NCR on map? No. Delhi NCR, it, it, it includes Delhi, Gurgaon, uh, Noida, Faridabad, it includes Ghaziabad, and includes Sonipat, Diwadi, Alwar, and uh, I think uh, Panipat also, and couple of other you know uh, areas. So Delhi NCR is huge. Okay, but if you talk about businesses, okay, for most businesses, Delhi NCR means Delhi, Gurgaon, Noida. Okay. For some businesses, this is Delhi, Gurgaon, Noida, Faridabad, Ghaziabad. For very small uh, percentage, they might include okay uh, Sonipat also okay or some of them will include uh, Bhivadi okay. So this is how it is. So your company says for us Delhi NCR means Delhi, Gurgaon, Noida okay and nothing else. And then they say uh, Mumbai region. For us, Mumbai region is, it's not just Mumbai. We When we say Mumbai, so it means Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, and let's say Goregaon, and then let's say uh, Thane, uh, Virar, and, 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 and few other, right? Can a company have a requirement like this? And when you talk about Bangalore, You also include not just Bangalore, you include Mysore, you include uh, uh, Hosur. When you, whenever you say uh, uh, Bangalore, you are including these two areas also. When you talk about Chandigarh, you are including not just Chandigarh, you are also including Mohali and Panchkula. Tell me, is it is it is it a fair requirement? Is it a fair requirement? Can a company can have sales reasons like this? Can a company can have sales reasons like this? And they would like to see their sales, sales reports region wise. They are saying I am not interested in entire Punjab because we are not present in entire Punjab. Okay, so when I say Chandigarh. Okay, it means when I say show me the reports for Chandigarh region, so include Mohali and Panchkula. We are not present in entire Delhi NCR. For us, Delhi NCR is only Delhi, Gurgaon, and Noida. We are not present in entire Mumbai area. Okay, uh, Mumbai area means it includes that uh, uh, all those. So for us, only Navi Mumbai, uh, Gurgaon, and uh, sorry, Goregaon <laughs> and Thane. These are not Virar, not uh, Bhayandar, not all other areas. Okay. So this is how it is. Is it a fair? Is it is it clear to everyone? Tell me. Is it clear to everyone? 
is it is it a possibility is it a possibility that that is how you want to see the report sales reason you want to create a sales reason you may create a sales reason like this you call it rajasthan but it is not the entire rajasthan okay it may be couple of cities from rajasthan let's say jaipur jodhpur udaipur and and ajmer and one more city okay so you are only tapping you talk about mp it's not entire mp for you the mp is indore bhopal gwalior and one more city okay so that's how for you mp is is there anything on the map as per your requirement no there's nothing like that but you would like to see this right let me show you this over here it will make it absolutely clear if i go to the google merchandise store and i am here into the uh custom reports I, i'll create a custom report okay i'll create a custom report and you will see that new custom report and i call it sales report sales region wise and then i am creating an explorer report that's okay this metric group is uh, users new users sessions then i am saying uh, uh bounce rate and i am saying uh, uh, average session duration pages per session and i am saying uh, revenue from e-commerce and i am saying uh, conversion rate and then transactions number of transactions from e-commerce and the dimension is sales reason why this sales reason is appearing there is nothing called sales reason in google analytics it is a custom dimension these values are being passed to google analytics uh, before i explain you the concept of custom dimension you see this are you seeing this is there anything on map something like this apac central america is there anything is there anything like that are you seeing the sales region wise can we relate to this like north america is delhi and cr emea is uh, mumbai this apac is uh, mohali uh, chandigarh mohali area this is bangalore area and this is some other area can are we seeing the are we seeing the user acquisition the behavior and the conversion of course revenue etc uh, sales region wise this is not state wise this is not city wise this is not country wise this is as per you have defined the sales region is this clear now is this clear now you want to you want to do this customization is google in, in google analytics you can do that and how do you do this for that you need to define something called custom dimension i'll explain all that in a detail in, in detail in some time is the concept clear to everyone can you give me some other example where would you like to pass additional data can you give me the example of something where you would like to pass the additional data and the form of custom dimension which is not available in google analytics give me the example i am waiting for you give me the example i can give you several examples but you just try if you can if you can
you want me to give you more examples what additional values you can pass to google analytics to see your reports more effectively yeah okay now if you are somebody who's into textbook publishing you are a publisher would you like to see the sale class wise of course you would like to see the category wise so category is there you have defined the category okay in your e-commerce setup you have defined the category a category could be uh, the name of the subject also okay so categorization that way is possible okay would you like to define would you like to define class as something uh, which is not readily available in google analytics and you are passing it in the form of uh, in a custom dimension yeah would you like to do that okay interest how about interest how about interest would you like to pass that if you are a children's book publisher would you like to pass interest also so that you can see that okay i think i can show you a site over here these guys are into uh, they are into children's book publishing and then they are showing you all these things so this is category that's okay this you can always pass as category in your e-commerce setup but then they have something uh, uh, interest also okay so interest could be uh, uh, in in a drawing or interest could be in uh, uh, mechanical activities or uh, th there could be a uh, different kinds of you know uh, interest categories you 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 may have so one is the book category and one is the interest category so you can pass all that okay so i've just showed you one example how you can see this as a primary dimension in custom reports okay now how do you define this custom dimension uh, another example i have already given you that uh, name of the uh, author you are passing so you go to the property you go to the uh, at the property level you go to the custom definitions and then you select option custom dimension you see this is not for everyone okay the custom dimensions are not for everyone uh, you don't need custom dimensions for every website you maintain you really need to identify is there any information uh, which is not available to google analytics and i want to pass it additionally okay then you define uh, uh, you define the the custom dimension okay i have given you two examples already so whenever you are setting up your google analytics account you think hard okay so how do you do this uh, you just create a new custom dimension and you give it a name and we can call it anything like author name this is what we want to pass or we want to pass the sales region okay and you need to choose a scope okay hit type this is called a scope uh, this is of type hit or session or user or product so what is a hit scope hit scope includes page hit and event hits tell me if i am here on this website bounties luna metrics uh, i am reading this I, I i am viewing this page name of the author is at the page level so every time i am reading a page i am reading an article the name of author is there it could be the same author who has uh, contributed many articles but it could be a different author also so every time the page loads we need to pass the name of the author to the google analytics okay so that we can see a report like this that how many times uh, the pages added by uh, uh, read were viewed okay how many times uh, the pages added by sharif were viewed are you seeing this over here how many time the pages added by jim are viewed so you need to pass the name of the author and what is the best time to pass the name of the author the author has contributed at the page level everybody is that clear the author has contributed at the page level is this part clear if this is clear then only i'll 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 move forward the author has 
contributed at the page level okay so every time a page loads each page author is uh, uh, each page has its own author name okay some of the names could be common and uh, they could be unique so when the page loads you need to pass this information that this article has been written or has been added by this author so this is what you do by adding a second uh, by adding a custom dimension so you give it a name like a, uh, author name and then you choose the scope hit because the name of the author is for each page okay and in some pages you may not have an author like about us page like contact us page so there you will be passing it blank and then you click on uh, this option create and I'm showing you by editing this one because this is already available so author hit and then this code must be added to your analytic just after the analytics tracking code so you are passing values okay so author of this article is ruchita okay and author of this uh, article is sandeepan so every time this value will be changed dynamically okay so this part will be handled by your development team they will be doing this part okay that uh, dynamically passing the value to the analytics depending upon the name of the author okay and uh, where this code is added this code can be added just after the analytics tracking code So let's have a look at it and if you are finding it complicated it is actually not okay you may have to watch this recording uh, once or twice and then you will be uh, comfortable with this okay so this is the analytics tracking code so you will be adding this code after this script okay you you can add this after this part okay or you can add a new set of script over here so this part will be added over here and every time for every page author name if it is different it will be handled by your uh, developer how you can pass the name of the author automatically dynamically now there is a method where without writing the code you can pass this information okay let me share this tutorial with you because the time is the only constraint over here I cannot explain that method so I have uh, selected a tutorial for you where uh, you can check it <coughs> yeah so this is the one this is where you can check how to pass this uh, through the Google Tag Manager GTM you don't have to write a single line of code isn't it interesting you can pass you can implement this uh, without writing a single line of code okay you can do that but you need to understand how it is done and uh, you can understand the head scope I have explained one part but watch this uh, tutorial YouTube tutorial from measure school this guy has explained uh, the uh, scope in a, in a in a great way it is a almost 15 minute long tutorial <coughs> uh, now let's check uh, another thing so you want to add sales reason in that case the hit scope would be session I tell you why when a user is on the website the location of the user okay you understand the concept of session everybody you understand user you understand user we all understand what is a user do we all understand what is a user 
in google analytics what is the user <coughs> it is the client id isn't it it is the client id you remember this if you are on a website which has google analytics tracking code added you can check it over here in more tools developer tools a cookie is assigned called underscore ga i am sure you remember all of you remember that a cookie is called a cookie called underscore ga is assigned uh, planted and in which this number is given to you this is your client id so this is my client id if you go to this website kamash.co your number would be different yes so a user is uniquely identified with this number how many of you know this <coughs> how many of you know this the user is uniquely identified by this number which is assigned in a cookie called underscore ga you remember this okay so there are so in google analytics how data is viewed it is viewed as user okay it is viewed as session and this is viewed as hit level <coughs> what is a session it is a series of interactions before the session ends and when the session is end 30 minutes of inactivity period everybody remembers that 30 minutes of inactivity okay at midnight when the campaign changes campaign source or medium changes <clears throat> what is a hit when a page is loaded okay so we we understand how data is uh, uh, viewed uh, arranged and viewed in google analytics okay it is user level session level hit level so if a user is on your website okay so the location of the user will it change page by page will it change page by page or for the entire session the location will remain same if you are logged on to the website if you are on amazon and you are from bangalore let's say you are on the home page and then you are on some other page then you are on some other page with every page will your location change or for the entire session the location will remain same <clears throat> for the entire session the location will remain same same if you reach the website through google organic for the entire session the source will be google organic for the entire session the source will be google organic somebody reached the website through uh, facebook the session is started the source assigned to the session was uh, uh, facebook so till the session ends the session started with the the session started uh when the user visited the website from facebook right so the session source is facebook so this is the facebook this is the session level thing so the the channel through which you landed on the website your session started or the location they are generally what they are session level things they do not change with the page you are viewing but the name of the page the title of the page can change the author of the page can change so this is how you define uh, the difference between the hit level session level correct and uh, <clears throat> the tutorial that i have given you uh, because we don't have a lot of time this explains it in a much better way okay because it 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 includes another example of user also if i take an example of user it will take a, a lot of time but i i can give you a very quick example <clears throat> let's say there is a bank the customer uh, customer's id is let's say 11001100011 okay this is a customer every customer has a unique account number everybody every customer has a unique customer number okay so this is how they identify that this is the user level thing and uh, 
if a customer visits the visits the bank uh, let's say four times in a month okay so the entry in the records will be four times of this number isn't it the entry of this number will be four times if this user is if this bank uh, uh, customer is also interacting okay and if there are four transactions so this will be entered four times so this number is at the user level okay this is at the user level and then visits will be four times if there are four transactions okay in one session okay in one visit the user can the 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 uh, customer can do things like this passport printing so not passport passbook printing passbook printing a cash withdrawal okay and let's say this is a, a pension holder so uh, submitted the uh, life certificate uh, okay so these are the three things in this visit user did okay so these three things are page hits these th three things are hits this visit is the session are we clear are we clear so you are recording the date and time okay of the visit so that will be done at the session level all these individual things this will be done at the hit level okay so let's come back to this discussion what i was explaining you you can have a custom dimension okay what are the dimension this is the method of categorizing your data so city is a dimension country is a dimension google analytics automatically captures it age is a dimension google analytics captures it automatically gender device category okay and a uh, lot of other things lot of other things we have seen in the standard reports several dimensions google analytics captures all these dimensions automatically but whenever there is a limitation of capturing something that it doesn't understand or which is something very unique to your requirement then you pass that dimension value through the custom dimension so you come to the property level you go to the custom definition and this is how it is defined okay the only thing that you have to remember <coughs> about custom dimension that they cannot be primary dimension in standard reports okay what does that mean over here they cannot be custom dimension they cannot be primary dimension in these reports they can always be secondary dimensions but you can create a custom report where a custom dimension can be a primary dimension okay so that's how it is so you need to check that tutorial uh, that i have shared with you to understand a uh, scope in more details and with the uh, with with the uh, you know time and practice your comfort level with this concept will be much much better okay uh, when i did this long back very first time i also took some time <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> the last thing is about the resources okay i'll share these resources with you and on this slide okay i have uh, <coughs> shared uh, more interesting things uh, <clears throat> there is a data discrepancy when it comes to the conversions uh, between google ads and google analytics i have written all those uh, discrepancies over here okay so you can check it later <clears throat> and i have given this uh, example also that how the discrepancies uh, are uh, recorded okay so with an example you can check this if you have any question you can connect with me through the q and a now <clears throat> i have included all the links that you need to prepare and attempt this giq so <clears throat> i'll show you this right now and these are the video tutorials by analytics academy uh, you must watch these video tutorials they are fantastic 
and these are some uh, links uh, that i think are very very helpful for you <clears throat> if you check all of them uh, your comfort level with google analytics will be very very high because uh, if you are not sure what is the not set which is shown into the reports in google analytics so this article explains it that what does not set means if you are not sure how the page load time affects the bounce rate okay how they are correlated then you can check this uh, article okay so page load time is part of uh, you know uh, <clears throat> user experience and it's one of the important parameters of seo and this is the reason it is said that if your pages are not loading within 7 seconds your bounce rate may be high or your uh, rankings may get affected so you just check this article so i have such uh, i have included several such articles for you okay so this is what uh, you need to check now let's check is how to prepare for google analytics this is where it all starts from <clears throat> on this page this says uh, you can check google analytics for beginners this is a course this is another course advanced google analytics make sure that you register with the uh, the academy i, I am registered at, uh, as my uh, using my uh, official id okay so you can check this these tutorials are by uh, justin kutrani and krista sidon they are fantastic tutorials do not miss okay before you attempt the exam <clears throat> you make sure that you watch these tutorials a few times i uh, have watched these videos many times uh, you already know uh, a lot of it okay you already know a lot of it and several and many a times you will realize that you know more than what is being explained in the video having said that they are really great videos do not miss any of them okay so and advanced part also over here and uh, you can register for your exam this is academy for ads where you register <clears throat> now my certification is expired you can see uh, it expired on november 3 i didn't get time to renew it i'll take this uh, exam by clicking this retake button okay i'll do it probably tomorrow if i get an hour uh, one and a half hour and i'll do it <clears throat> and you can see history and everything okay view in history that how many times you have uh, cleared this uh, exam you can see uh, i cleared this exam on may 3 2017 and uh, you can see oh i have renewed it and you can see all that when whenever i gave this exam and i passed it you can see all that okay you can all you can see all that you can see all the history over here so this is all about google analytics and i think yes we are pretty good now before you sign out uh, just submit the feedback and let me know if when you are done please do not sign out without submitting the feedback and rochika and uh, i think ne uh, nitesh uh, nitin sorry nitin you didn't attend the first session what's the recording connect with me through the q a uh, rochika you missed some part of it watch uh, the recording and then connect with me so and uh, for everyone if you have any query after watching the recording or going through those links i have shared with you and these tutorials of analytics academy connect with me through the q a yeah <coughs> submit the feedback please let me know when you are done with the feedback
Thanks, Nidin. I am waiting for others. When you are done with the feedback, please let me know. Thanks, Sandeepan. Okay, thank you, Archita uh, and Sonal. Thank you. <coughs> so uh, please submit the feedback, those who haven't done yet. And then I will also sign on for the day. All right, so this is it. Uh, you know how to connect with me through Q&A, okay? And, uh, uh, so prepare for GIQ. When you are ready, uh, give the exam and get the certification. Good luck. Bye-bye.